I love these new artists, man. It always makes my day. Something new. I don't know what to expect. Let's go. Hi, guys. Welcome to Lee Reacts. Hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am. We are back with another Patreon pick from our alpha patron, Jellybean. We're going to be doing a track from an artist named Ryan Adams. Uh, I believe this was released in the year 2000. Um, the album was called Heartbreaker. Uh, is actually... It got really good reviews. It got nominated for some awards. Uh, but the track we're going to be listening to is called Come Pick Me Up, which is also written by Ryan Adams. Um, apparently, he is roots rock, country rock. Uh, that's it, though. That's all I know. Uh, but I trust Jelly Bean. She will not steer me wrong. So let's go. And if y'all are not subscribed, please help Brother out. Click that icon right below my face. Um, I play all kinds of stuff on the channel. It could be this stuff, it could be Frank Zappa, it could be the Beatles, it could be some random prog band from 1967. Who knows? That's the whole point of this channel. Good music, it don't matter where it comes from, I just want to hear it. Alright, here we go. Ryan Adams, come pick me up. Three, two, one, go.
That was really, really good. <laughs> Sorry if I didn't say much. Uh, those lyrics just kind of struck close to home. Um, my first relationship was not a good one. Let's say that. And I still have a lot of scars from it. Um, so it was Ryan Adams on vocals, acoustic guitar, electric guitar, harmonica, piano, and banjo. Ethan Jones on the drums, bass. Um... David Rawlings, acoustic guitar, electric guitar, banjo. Um, Jillian Welch, backing vocals, banjo. Pat Sanistone on the piano. Emmy Lou Harris was on a track, but not this one. Um, Kim Ritchie did the backing vocals. Um, and that's it. Hmm. Wow. Elton John has famously credited the Heartbreaker album as helping to regenerate his career, and in 2002, he performed songs from it with Ryan Adams and did a joint interview with him where he thanked Ryan. Wow. Well, there you go. That's a tidbit for you. <laughs> um, I love the banjo in this. Uh, just the steady, constant uh, picking. It, was, it just sounded so good um, as this man is basically pouring his heart out in front of everybody to see, man. That was brutally honest. And <laughs> that's the way I like my songs. Um, most of the time, at least. Sometimes you gotta lie to yourself just to get through the day. But uh, sometimes, you, <laughs> most of the time, you probably should take the honesty so you know now, you know? And um, I didn't listen for the longest time when I was younger. My first uh, girlfriend, shall we, girlfriend, shall we say. Um, she was... Uh, into a lot of people shall we say let's say that but it's not her fault she had a terrible upbringing um horrible horrible things like movie stuff not not even movie stuff like you wouldn't believe it it's just well, maybe you would i don't know but so i i, I kind of get where she was coming from you know i think that's an ability of mine that i've always had is i always try to put myself in the other person's shoes when it comes to even problems involving myself and it, 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 it mediates things pretty well because it, it puts things in perspective pretty quickly, you know. Um, I, mean, I was, what, like 15? She was like 14. We were kids, man. You know, we were on drugs, like hardcore drugs. We we started off doing like oxys and stuff. We were like 13 and I moved to heroin very quickly. Um, I was like a kid doing that stuff. Like, why was I doing that? You know, like it, when I think about it now, I have kids. I look at my kids running around and it's like, I would never want anything getting close to that happening to them. You know, now, I'm not saying anything against my mother because she, she tried. She definitely did. She didn't even know half of it, to be honest. I was really good at hiding things. Um, I even hid things for myself. It feels like when I really look back on it, like, I don't know how I did what I did. Like, it seems like a different person to me now, like a whole, a whole foreign concept that I can't even really get into. Like, you know, I can't get my head into my old self, basically. You know, I can't think like that anymore. Um, but I can easily fall back into it if I don't keep up with my maintenance, shall we say, on myself. Um, and that's why I'm so honest with you guys because it's the only thing that really keeps me straight in a way, you know? Not the only thing, but you get what I'm saying. Like, it really helps. Um, and this song is brutally honest. <laughs> um, it sounded like the whole... I think the whole album was kind of written around his breakup with his, uh, his famous publicist, I guess. Um, and it inspired this album. And I definitely can feel the breakup vibes in it. You can feel the pain, the remorse, but also the almost resolution and, you know, catharsis from the whole entire thing, you know. Um, 
because it's a terrible thing to go through all that, especially if you're getting cheated on and it's uh, with all your friends, if it's exactly how you're saying, which it, it seemed like it probably was. Um, that's brutal, man. Well, that's basically what happened to me. And I had my own friends telling me we are doing this with your girlfriend. Uh, well, it's, I don't know, it's hard to explain. Um, but yeah, I learned very uh, slowly that um, I was being used basically because, you know, I had money at the time or I had a house people could stay at. You know, it wasn't just her. It was a lot of people, man. And that's what I was talking about last week. And I was like, oh my God. I look back at some pictures and I just, you know, re-realize some things as an adult, you know, and it's just, it's hurtful, man. Um, I had a rough, I had a rough go of it for a while, man. I'm not even going to lie, but not all of it was bad. And I have to remember that. And I have a great life now. And this is what I, um, not even what I always dreamed of, but it, it's what I needed, you know, cause I, my dreams are something completely different. I didn't think I'd become a father. I didn't think I'd be doing this. You know, I wanted to go play music. I wanted to go conquer the world. I wanted to go do everything in the world. But then unfortunately I hit the, the barrier of being a heroin addict, you know, cause I could manage it for a few years there. But once I had money for it, like real money, I was over. I wasted a lot of time. But uh, music like this is just, it, it kind of hurts to listen to because it reminds me of home so much, you know, because <laughs> I'm from the country. I was raised on a farm, you know, and um, basically rode horses for half my life. Um, so I, uh, I don't know, man, this type of music is definitely folk, well, not folk. It's like the kind of down home feeling rock country sort of mix and. I'm, I'm learning to like it and love it because for a long time there, I couldn't listen to stuff like this because it was just so hurtful, man. And I couldn't put my finger on exactly why, but now I can. Um, it's because it reminds me of the life that I didn't get to live, you know, because I got thrown into a very uh, dark life basically after my father died, me and my mom did. And um, yeah, I think it just reminds me of a life that I never had. And that's it. But I think... Honestly, uh, that was great. Ryan did a great job in this. The, the guitar was fantastic. The vocals, mwah, perfect country, you know, sort of rock vibes with the vocals. He had it down perfect. Um, the chorus was great. The lyrics were even better. I mean, the lyrics were just fantastic, dude. Uh, that was some of the most brutally honest and, um, but still yet, um, almost hopeful in a way. Like I said, there was almost like a resolution in that. There was almost a uh, realization and an acceptance of what had happened and we're moving on sort of thing. Um, but yeah, no one should ever have to go through that. And that it sucks, but we all do at some point in our lives. And I think most people wise and up pretty quick. Uh, not, not everybody does though. And they keep repeating the same mistake over and over and keep getting hurt and keep getting hurt. And they don't understand why they don't understand why they just don't see it. They can't see themselves from the third person. And it's funny to say this, but having this channel has really helped me view myself from the third person. Because you guys ask me, is it weird to watch yourself? It is. That's why I just kind of focus on the chat when I'm with you guys in the videos and the premieres. Um, but it's helped me re-examine myself too. And, you know, want to take care of myself and look my best and do my best for y'all, myself, for my family. And it's... Um, I don't know, man. This channel has been really good for me and you guys have been so good to me and I'm so grateful for all of you and I cannot wait to continue on our journey next month. It's crazy. September's almost here. The post will be going out soon for the Patreon picks and um, yeah, that was fantastic. Um, the drums in this too were also really, really good. Um, I think the real standout though were the lyrics, the vocals, the guitars, and that banjo. Just mwah, mwah, mwah. I don't know why I keep doing the chef's kiss thing in this, but it, that's what it was. It's fantastic. <laughs> um, but that's it out of me, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you again, Jelly Bean. That was a great pick. And I would love to hear more of Ryan. Seriously, that was good. And if Elton, and this, if this inspired Elton, Sir Elton, to go back and do his thing, that's all I need to know. There you go. See you later. Well, 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 I guess we have reached the end. Um, but fret not if you'd like to join our amazing Patreon community. Seriously, they really are. Um, there's a link in the description. Uh, if you join the $15 tier or up, you get one free request a month. Uh, there's also a PayPal as well in the description if you want to send a tip or request in that way. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day and I will see you later.